GoPro or Dika pack? Huh. This is a quick video review for the Dika pack WP S10 for my Sony A7R 3 Quick backstory: I'm in the Philippines right now. I bought this waterproof case for my Sony A7R 3 because uh, here there's plenty of snorkeling spots and I just wanted to take some nice videos and photos underwater. I checked a lot of stuff on YouTube and Amazon and I found this uh, Dika pack uh, waterproof pack and I thought it could be a good solution for what I was looking for. Now, um, there's not much to review. I think this is a waste of time and money, straight away to be honest. Um, I just tested it right here in this little spot, nice clear water and um, it's just useless. I mean, a tiny bit on my background, I'm a content producer, so that's what I, you know, I take videos and photos as a living. And uh, this thing probably would take me, I don't know how long to practice and master. And I don't have time to go underwater and, <laughs> and then spend a week just to practice how to, you know, spin the wheels and um, the zoom wheels and the focus wheels and that kind of stuff. It's just not practical at all. Um, You've got three holes, one for the shutter button and you've got two on the lens just to spin the wheels around. Okay, the positive things, probably two, it was waterproof. Wow, uh, how surprising. I probably went 50 centimeters under the, the water and uh, yeah, no leaks or anything, no drops inside, which is great for a waterproof case. And um, second positive thing was as you have a quite big, well, I have a Sony 16 to 35G master lens, it's quite wide and um, if you want to get those shots where you can see half underwater and half above the water, well, it's probably more achievable with this than with the GoPro because the GoPro has a tiny lens as you can imagine, so it's definitely easier to, to balance this halfway than the tiny lens of the GoPro, if you know what I mean. These are the only two positive things I found on this case. Um, first impression, the camera shakes inside, it's not very stable. Uh, you've got some pads here, so to lift your camera or put it a tiny bit lower, but still, um, it moves around. Um, I use the lens 1635, the G Master, uh, wide open, so a 16 millimeter, and when you do so, basically your lens is fully extended. Now, this is the WPS10, which allows to use a lens of more or less 15 centimeter uh, long, and that's exactly my lens right here. But the problem is when I when I use it when I use my lens at 16 millimeters, which is again extended, the lens would eventually hit this, and with a bit of movement, it will bring my lens back to 35, like squeezing it back like that. And you can't really use these two fingers or it's just I think they're just useless to be honest also guys if you use a lens like mine 16 millimeters and you keep it wide open you see the actual cup of the Dika pack creating a lot of vignetting again kind of useless because you need to crop in after so it's like having a 20 25 millimeter on another uh, another negative aspect of this tool is um, I try to go underwater and this uh, screen protector basically doesn't allow you to see anything. It will stick to your camera monitor and uh, I mean th there's a lot of reflections from the light uh, coming, you know, coming from above the water so again you, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, completely useless. I bought this thing on Amazon for £65 and I'm gonna return it because uh, it's useless. Um, and if you're not a professional anyway and you're not very practical with camera gear, you don't want to spend a month just practicing with this with this tool. It's just useless. So uh, for the purpose you need underwater, probably GoPro is the best solution. You make sure you grab something with this anyway. But if you have a nice fish or something you want to grab, but by the time you set up your shot there, the fish is long time gone. So. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't really film anything, so I can't really show you any footage, but that's uh, uh, my opinion and my first impression. 
about this ridiculous tool right here. Also, bear in mind, guys, when you close this thing down, when you seal it, uh, there will be a lot of air inside and that will make you struggle going underwater with the case. As you can see from the images, you really need to push down and it will eventually bring you up as well. So, um, again, not, not a good use uh, for a waterproof case, I guess, but you get what you pay for. Said that, I wouldn't really spend the time and the money in buying this thing. Um, and I hope the video kind of helped you making up your mind in buying or not the case. Uh, but for me, it's a no again, and I'm gonna send it back very soon. All right, guys, I hope to see you in the next videos. Actually, check my playlist from the Philippines if you're interested in visiting the country. It's amazing. Check it out. God bless. Thanks for watching.